being a recruit and watching games at the Coliseum, I think I was just used to sold out crowds, like loud environments. This is what football should be. And so I had this expectation, like it's going to be loud. Yeah, and we know that. It's going to be, you know, hard. They're a good team. We know that. But again, I think because of the culture that Coach Carroll had established where we're the best, we're practicing at the best every day, you were ready for anything. I think that all helped uh, immensely because when we got there, it's still one of the loudest environments I've ever been in. Picture you're at a concert and the speaker's right in the front and your just ears are ringing. Like after, it's like it was louder than that, it seemed like. Record crowd, and here they come again. Fred, I've been coming here my whole life. I don't, I've never seen this. This is the huddle right here. You'd have to nearly read my lips to hear the play call. And this was even during, like, timeouts, dude. During yeah, timeout that's, calls. That's insane. They were still standing the whole time, yelling as loud as they could. It was nuts. Can a freshman quarterback do it for the Trojans? We're about to find out. That final drive, there was just something special where everything was clicking, and Joe McKnight, rest in peace, had some yeah. unbelievable plays. Anthony McCoy, some big catches as a tight end. And then, uh, yeah, Steph with that. He gets the first carry. Just took yeah. that run outside in the, in the end zone. Finally, that place went silent. It was <laughs> glorious. It was beautiful, but that was, that was special.